All right, we are back home, baby. What a trip that flight! Oh, <laughs> there was a little kid screaming non-stop. Oh, it was tough. Night flight. I slept. I don't know about three and a half hours. It is twelve. 30. I first have to go and unpack my stuff, go unpack my bags because first thing was to get some food in the body. And then I'm gonna hit the gym and we're gonna do it the right way. We are gonna hit a leg day. Get some squats in this body. We need to shock the body and just survive the day and then go to bed early and sleep. That's the plan now. So let's get unpacking. I'll catch you later in. Uh, the car probably so let's go baby i'd be lying yeah. if i said i'm not exhausted as hell Woo! but we're gonna hit these squats and this leg session hard i know it's gonna be a good one the ones where you feel the worst you're the most tired are a lot of the times good ones but i don't want to get my hopes high if my strength is not high so be it it's go time it's leg day let's get some music pumping and I'll catch you in there. Let's go, come on. Head it. Gym session is done. That leg day was great, considering we only slept like, I don't know, three and a half hours. But it doesn't matter because we got it done no matter what, no excuses. And we got to represent the Celtics, man. They won their third game yesterday, so they're on their way to the championship. And it's looking good. So got to represent the Celtics even when in Switzerland, baby. So this is the start of the diet or basically the cut that I told you about. I want to cut for one and a half to two months now. After this full week of uh, binge eating and crap junk food, get this poison out. Time is almost 3.30 in the afternoon and I only ate two peanut butter toasts today. That's all. Didn't eat anything on the flight. Didn't eat anything at the airport. So it's good. It does my body well to just, you know, maybe also flush out get rid of that water, the water retention in my skin, a fluffy face. <laughs> yeah, just start start off the diet and start off this cut strong. I uh, gotta go shopping for some clean food. Oh, I'm looking forward to clean food, nice nutritious food. Woo! Yeah, baby. But we're feeling great after this workout. It's what I told you, man. It resets the system ready for tomorrow because tomorrow, you know how we do it, baby. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna go for a run, go for the gym, gonna be a double session. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. We are back. Woo! I'll uh, possibly catch you later. See ya. It's the next day, sipping on the double espresso. Yeah, boy, you know what time it is. We're gonna hit the gym. It's chest day, push day, baby. Ooh. My body is still a bit unaware of, you know, what time it is and what is going on. I slept like nine and a half hours last night, but still in the morning I got up and I was super tired. Still jet lagged, obviously, but we're still gonna get it done. Cut has officially started. I'm gonna be in a caloric deficit from today on. I wanna talk about my training plan and how I incorporate running. So I still obviously want to hit the gym, you know, at least like five times a week. That's gonna be a non-negotiable or even every day. Let's see. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I wanna reduce it a bit and 
focus more on running and want to incorporate running more just get into running because you know the Zurich Marathon is coming up in April next year so we have some time so now for the next two months when I'm shredding and cutting down just want to incorporate like easy runs and want to aim for a volume of 40 to 50 kilometers a week and also incorporate some more swimming and biking alongside the running so let's see how we are going to be able to combine all of that but focus is just on getting the run done in the morning i had no chance i was getting up this morning going out for a run my body was absolutely in nowhere's land <laughs> managed to get up let's get this coffee down and i'll catch you in the car and I'll get into more detail of the training plan and what actually goes down on a daily basis <laughs> let's get this going is get this workout started let's get this pump get back into this discipline let's go oh baby i'm telling you it feels good to be back back in a rhythm back into a routine see what we are capable of doing with this um with this cut even if it's tough and sometimes i feel like binge eating and stuffing my face <laughs> with food but then you know just have to do three or four sessions a day and do enough cardio and then i i'll be able to stuff my face with 4,000 calories or something during the week obviously i want to focus again on my leg training because it was a bit all over the place when doing the marathons and now uh being or training in plant fitness because they don't have squat racks but i want to get back into you know a routine and uh incorporating that heavy ass leg day once a week also obviously need to incorporate some speed workouts for running it's not always great doing the speed workouts and also doing the leg days you have to leave like two days in between for the legs to recover i don't know maybe we'll just start off the week uh, on a leg day you know monday heavy leg day get the week started the right way and then like on wednesday or thursday go for a speed session and maybe I don't know saturday sunday a long run or a longer run like 15 to 20 k's let's do that monday heavy leg day wednesday or thursday speed session depends on how the legs are feeling after the leg day i'll keep that variable and just see how i feel and then saturday sunday depending on you know how the week is going we're gonna do a longer run not a very long run but a longer run than usual but we're at the gym now. We gotta get in. We'll catch you in there. Let's get this pumping, man. Let's go. It is a bit later in the afternoon now, 20 past five. Yeah, man, that gym session was great. Good pump, good chest pump. 50 minutes, six working sets. We got it done. I decided to go for a quick run and afterwards, we're gonna go for, for an evening swim session. So it's a pre-swim session run. Gonna just go for half an hour, 5Ks to get back into it. Let's get this started, let's get warmed up. Talk to you in a bit, let's go. think the shorts can get any shorter i bought these in the states yeah not sure what to think of them because they're super short <laughs> flex the quad you know so <laughs> let's get going we're back baby Woo! let's go back in the woods back with my friends all the birds <laughs> and i was thinking about my training plan didn't talk about it in detail but I'll pop it up and just show you what I came up with and this is what I more or less want to follow as I said legs on Monday and then go for either a short run or a swim 
fill up the other days with uh, you know chest workouts back workouts arm workouts and incorporate runs and I want to get the runs done in the morning so it's out of the way and the tone is set for the day and uh, just gives that additional energy boost at the morning in the morning and gets the body going that's the goal for the next two months get into morning runs or when the pool is open in the morning go for a morning swim at 6 30 and then take it from there and let's see incorporate i think on thursday have like a rest for the gym go for a bike right there swim and run do like just an endurance day but i want to keep the main structure as it is the way you see it here on the screen and take it from there incorporate a speed session to get that vo2 max up because we obviously have to hit that sub three mark <laughs> in april at the zurich marathon so yeah already want to start training for that and incorporate more of swimming because we also want to get a beast at swimming be a dolphin in the water so that's why i'm also going to go for a swim this evening set the tone and start this cut off this shredding season the right way <laughs> let's go gonna keep running we'll catch you at the end let's go baby Woo! <laughs> Woo! that's how we do it baby we're done 31 minutes five point almost five kilometers at a 548 pace and heart rate was 147 higher heart rate than usual we're gonna take it we got it done baby that's what counts so was it quick run now it's time to go eat fuel up with some food high nutritious food Oof, it feels so good having good food back in the system i already feel it way more energy man <sighs> catch you later when we head out for baby the swim let's go here we are on the way to the pool get an evening swim it's 7 30 an easy swim trying to get back into things let's see how this week of recovery what it did to my body thousand meters or so half an hour let's see looking forward man it's been a week Woo! Ah, i missed the pool i missed the water let's go hopefully it's gonna be good because my nose is a bit stuffed still from the flight so ah, let's hope for the best but doesn't matter Let's get this going, let's go! Second protein shake is down baby and this swim session is also done we did 34 minutes 1500 meters at a two minute 17 per 100 meter pace average heart rate 125 really happy with this swim that week recovery improved my flow through the water so i was able to glide better my legs weren't falling as much and i just used this pool boy at the beginning for like 100 200 meters to warm up making great great progress happy with this swim session after one week of rest or rest i mean recovery from swimming <laughs> friday started at the weekend bam with a triple session that's how we do it boy i hope this video was entertaining you had some fun you were inspired motivated to get after it and get up and move your body and get a pump or go for a run or whatever if you did <laughs> leave a like and i'll catch you in the next one i love you man Bye. peace